Hi, this is Becky Schultz. I'm here with Lee Jakewitz who is from JCB, who is going to be telling me a little bit about the new portable power use systems that are available through the company and towable units. Yes, very much. Well, thank you very much. Um, really exciting times for us at uh, JCB. We are delighted to introduce and launch the range of tier four generators. We've got, initially we've got a five product range from 56 kilowatt up to 500 kilowatt prime. And with us today, we've got the G125 and the, the G220 either side of me. So what that delivers in terms of power is 100 kilowatt on this machine and then we deliver 175 on this machine. So the, some of the really key points about this range of equipment is we started with a blank piece of paper. Okay. We saw what others were doing and we thought if we're going to come to market with a new product we needed to make sure that we exceeded the expectations of customers out there and to do that we couldn't just bring in the same as everyone else. Right. So with a blank piece of paper we thought what is important to customers? Mm -hmm. And we think that the most important thing is to be safe is to be simple and easy to use right. uh, and to have as much technology and information at your fingertips. So that's what we've delivered. Um, we've got single side access for all electronics when others will do a portion at the back, some on the other side. So we're single sided for curbside electrical access. Right. Um, and then we are roadside for all of our fluid fill and our deaf fill. Okay. So that is not you know what others do we've got multiple control options available across the range so we have uh, deep sea options we have dive control options as well um, we've been able to integrate our own uh, engines into the equipment from a hundred kilowatt down to 56 kilowatt okay so and these are our JCB engines co correct okay. so this particular machine here has our own 4.8 liter engine in it mm -hmm. um, Safety is, is a massive thing for us. Um, we, we wanted to make sure that our products were the safest that they possibly could be. Um, just the little features, when you add them all up into a list, they're very com it's a compelling case. And we looked at our competitors and m many of those features were being missed. And okay. we felt they, they have to be included on a machine. So what kind of features are we talking about? So we've got things like, um, right in front of us here, we've got non-slip non fenders. Oh, you know, sure. Others had um, fenders that were plastic and you, you get up onto them and a lot of people use them to do work on these generators. Mm -hmm. Typically they, they, they fail or they slip. Ours are non-slip. Um, we've got test points for uh, your gen volts and bus volts so that you don't have to go behind doors into live areas and try and test for, um, for volts there. So we can do that externally. Right. Uh, on every door that uh, has live circuit, there's a micro trip switch um, which will stop the unit if you try and get into an area that is live, um, which is a feature we didn't see on other generators. Okay. So that, that, one's, that one's big. Um, we are emergency e-stops externally, um, which again, shocking really, we, we saw lots of machines that did not have e-stops external to the, to the equipment, okay. which was big. Uh, so just AC, DC wiring, segregation, you know, we made sure they're separate, it's not all in together. When you, when you list it all up together and you, you compare us against others, we, we just wanted to make sure our equipment was as safe as it could possibly be. Right. As safe as right. it could possibly be. So, yeah, um, and then information. So our equipment comes standard with LiveLink, which is our own telematic right. system that mm -hmm. you'll see on a lot of the construction equipment. And you know, for tier four, it, it, and for any any um, operator of equipment, information is, is key. And, and the amount of information that we can pass over to the customers through LiveLink um, with generators is huge. You know, we, we okay. call it like a virtual engineer, which is where you have a 24-hour set of eyes on your equipment, so you can okay. see. You know, I mean, typically when we looked at the. Um, generators the thing that most people call out on failures are things like emergency stops have been pushed fuel is run out battery volts are, are they're, they're too low and we can see that from a remotely from a, a from a distance without right. having to send someone to site 
and then over and above that you can do you can see the low profile of your unit so you can advise your customers how they're using their equipment okay. how they can be more efficient um, and ultimately prolong the the life of your equipment so it's a, that's a really uh, important piece. Something I think that a lot of people don't think about when they're thinking generators for sure. and telematics don't necessarily, it's not necessarily intuitive yeah. to think about that. For together. sure, for sure. Um, and then on the emissions piece, uh, we've, we've offered the range from G70 all the way up to G625 as um, SCR only, so there's okay. no DPF on the range. Again, others are using a combination of older engines which are meaning DPFs to bring it to current emissions right. legislation. We, we decided to go clean, modern, okay. um, basic, really, really clean um, SCR only system. So that mitigates some of that low load risk um, okay. on, on tier four operations. So we're, we're really, really happy. Um, it is amazing to be stood in front of a machine that so many people have come through and said, wow, I mean, you really have put the operator first. Right. And um, it's uh, been a culmination of a lot of, a lot of hard work, so we're really happy. Absolutely. Now, one of the things that mm, comes to my mind is it, when I think JCB, generators mm. aren't necessarily the first thing that, that come, you know, that pops into my head. Yep. But JCB has actually been in the gener generator industry for a while. Yeah, JCB has been in the um, start, power product started in the early 2000s. Right. Um, but in terms of North America, it's a new market, um, okay. so it's a, a huge opportunity for us uh, right. in power generation, biggest market in the world. Mm -hmm. um, so we'd, we'd love to capture some of that market and we feel that we've got the products to do so. It seems like it. So is there anything else that you'd like to share with me about the features of these models or how they fit <coughs> into the, the power generation um, sphere in terms of how they might be used? Well, one thing that we've been able to do on these machines is we understand that we need to be flexible with application. Oh, absolutely. Um, and so to do that, we, we've offered the machines, again, as standard, as a rental build, with uh, three phase and single phase voltage positions on the alternator. Mm -hmm. So that, that'll allow you to, to run your equipment in different applications. So you, we've got 480 volt three phase, 208 volt three phase and 240 volt single phase okay <coughs> which offers that flexibility into application so right. that that's um that is really good we in terms of moving the equipment around we've got single point lifts um, which right. are rated to lift the whole of the equipment with the trailer full of fuel um, we've also got four point lifts uh, to, to so not not everyone has the ability to lift it from a single point right. lift uh, so we've got four point as well and there is also an option to have a integrated fork pocket option above the fenders okay <coughs> so being flexible in application the way that the equipment is moved will be key to um, maximize um, any opportunity that we have great and do you see anything <coughs> more coming from JCB in the power generation um, realm in the near future? Yes, I do. I, I mean, this, we, our initial investment into Tier 4 is the five products that I've described. Right. Um, but there are there is demand within that and outside of that. And I think we will we'll look at the opportunity, we'll assess it, and, and then we'll come back and we'll work out, build a plan as to what we would do. Excellent. Well, I'll look forward to see what else is coming from Thank JCB. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank Been you. a pleasure.